All right, Shalom. Shalom. This is Brothers from the GMS so Carolina. I came back with another video. Before we go any further, we all praise honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakarpadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone, teaching us to warn and present truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Going to get into a lesson how, you know, only Israel has a chance to salvation. Israel. You know, consisting of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know, the man who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ, or Yahweh Shai, you know, his mission when he came on the scene was to gather his lost sheep, you know, of the nation of Israel. Not the whole world, you know, mm -hmm. but only of Israel. Go ahead. Okay. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren. My heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. For Israel is that they might be saved. You know, and Paul is known as what? The disciple to the Gentiles, you know? Now, we in the know know those Gentiles that Paul was sent to were the Israelite foreigners, you know? Uh, you, know uh, you know, you can go to Ephesians, you can go to Corinthians uh, 1 and 12. You know, going into how the Gentiles, how they were Gentiles, you know, we well, can get that. Get First Corinthians twelve and two. Mm-hmm. You start at the top. Kind. This is First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse one. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Carry away unto these dumb idols. See that you know that you were Gentiles, you know? Meaning what? You were Gentiles in your mind. You know, you were doing as the Gentiles were doing. You were living your life as a heathen, as the heathen do. You know, you weren't keeping the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, they were uh, helotonized, you know? They were, uh, um, you know, they were doing the customs of the heathens, you know? They knew they were Israelites, but they were they were they were they were uh, clothed in the fashions of how these heathens lived. The same way we were here in America, you know. Except the only thing is, we didn't know we were Israelites until we were told it, you know. So we completely discontinued from our heritage. Go ahead. Even as ye were led. Even as ye were led. That's it. Get Ephesians two. We'll get one more. Ephesians 2 and 11. This is Ephesians chapter 2 verse 11. Wherefore remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh. Yeah, in times past Gentiles according in the flesh. Go ahead. Not natural Gentiles, you know, but the way they were conducting themselves. Go ahead. Who are called uncircumcision mm -hmm. by that which is called circumcision. Yeah, they were called uncircumcision by the Israelites that knew they were uh, uh, Jews, you know, and that were keeping the customs. Go ahead. In the flesh made by hands. Mm-hmm. Keep going. That at that time ye were without Hamashiach. Yeah, they were, you were out. You were at that time, you know, you had no savior, you know. Yahweh Shai hadn't came on the scene, you know, because Yahweh Shai made it, uh, you know, with him dying on the cross, made it possible for us to go back to the heavenly father you know good being aliens from the commonwealth of israel mm -hmm. and strangers from the covenant of promise yeah they were strangers you know they were foreign they were they didn't know they didn't know uh, what they had to do to get back ultimately you know because they, they were following the customs of heathen and they were in this ongoing uh, um this perpet this perpetual state of just going off going off you know not giving the correct sacrifice, asking for forgiveness, you know? But now that Yahweh Shai came on the scene, you know, uh, we are reteaching our people, you know, uh, the correct way to follow, you know? Because we were all Gentiles at one point, you know, whether, um, you know, before we woke up to the truth, you know, we didn't, we were going off. We were eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. We were smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, uh, selling drugs. You know, committing adultery. You know, we were all doing that. But now we have been um, reawoken to what the truth is, you know. And now we have a Savior that is forgiving us for our sins. 
Because Yahweh Shai, he came to save the nation of Israel from what? From their sins, you know? And then once we are saved from our sins, we will be saved from our enemies, you know? Good. Having no hope and without Yahweh in the world. Yeah, having no hope. Now that we have this knowledge, we have hope. We have hope to be saved. You know, we have the expectation, and now we have the most high because Yahweh Shai being that uh, mediator. You want verse 13 real quick? Yeah, call, yeah you can read it. Any Colossians 1 21. Okay. But now in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Hamashiach. Yeah, so now by Yahweh Shai, you know, now that we were a man far off, now that he's. You know, shed his blood for us, you know. We have that covering, you know, and also Yahweh Shai, what he loosed the seals for us to have the understanding of these scriptures, you know. And he, he became that perfect sacrifice to sacrifice unto the most high for our for for, for forgiveness. Uh one twenty one. This is Colossians chapter one, verse twenty one. Start, start twenty. Okay. This Colossians chapter 1 verse 20 And having Made peace through the blood Of his cross By him To re re reconcile All things Unto himself By him I say Whether they be things in earth Or things in heaven mm -hmm. And you That were sometimes Alienated And enemies in your mind by the wicked works yet now have reconciled yeah have you reconciled us you know when Yahweh Shai went and died on the cross he redeemed us you know back to the heavenly father he saved he saved us you know we were the ones that were given the laws we were the ones you know you look at we're reconciled it means to restore friendly relationships between you know so our relationship between the, uh, the nation of Israel and the Most High has been reconciled, you know, has been restored by Yahweh Shai's blood. Now we are dealing with, now, you know, we're dealing with Lord Yahweh Shai so we can make it back to the Father. He's our intercessor, intercessor, you know, he's our, uh, he's our median. He's the median between, um, between us and the Most High, you know, he's pleading our cause, you know. But, you know, we were all aliens, you know, but what we are being saved at this point, you know, first, you know, spiritually, by us being able to understand this truth, you know, able to repent while we still have time. And Yahweh Shah is physically going to save us, starting with the elect, when he comes back on those chariots, you know? Yeah, pretty so. Okay. This is Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it should come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of of Yahweh Shai shall be saved. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yeah, so what? So that whosoever, that whosoever is talking about the Israelites. You know, Paul, uh, uh, it's like the Apostle Peter, I believe this is uh, Apostle Peter speaking, you know? You know, it's the scripture that at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is telling us through, through his disciples that what? That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved you know that whosoever is gonna call upon the name of the lord you know in sincerity and truth you know believing on this doctrine believing that what we have we we are you know we we have been forgiven for our sins now we have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling by having faith in the lord you know going through these fiery trials you know and casting off the old man you know that's why yahweh shai spoke about being born again you know good Ye men of Israel, hear these words. So, you know, here it is. They, they made a, a you know, clear indication who this was talking to. The Lord said, what? Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Go ahead. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. John, get five. It's right there. Mm -hmm. And then you get uh, Acts 13, 23. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. Mm -hmm. 
Verse 30. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah, who you slew and hung on a tree. Mm -hmm. Him have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior Good. for to give repentance to Israel mm -hmm. and forgiveness of sins. Yeah, so the power of our fathers, the power of our fathers, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob raised up Yahweh Shai, you know? You know, raised up Yahweh Shai to be that perfect sacrifice to allow us to come back to the Lord. You know, it says he was going to be a prince and a savior. You know, he's going to be our savior. He's going to be the savior to the nation of Israel. Read one more time. It says, this is Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Him have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior or to give repentance. To Israel and forgiveness of sins. To give uh, repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Look, the definition of repentance, it says the act of repenting, a uh, 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 sincere regret or remorse. Yes, yeah, so to give the opportunity for us to repent, get Matthew's, was that 4 and 21? 4 and 19? Because what did Yahweh Shai say? Go ahead. This is St. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. 21. 21? Mm-hmm. Okay, got that. Um, yeah, you're right, 19. And from that time... Oh, 17. Yeah. Sock, yeah. This is St. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh shall begin to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So this right here proves that the kingdom of heaven is for Israel, you know? The act of repentance... The, the repentance, the action of repenting, sincere regret or remorse. So the act of repenting, you know, that's when Yahweh Shai get me, uh, go over to the next chapter, uh, ten, ten and five. That's when Yahweh Shai came on the scene. He said, "What repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." Who's the kingdom of heaven for? You know, unto those who can repent, the nation of Israel. And what are we? feel sincerely regret for and remorse for breaking the law statute and commandments of the bible for going off you know go ahead this is saint matthew chapter 10 verse 5 these 12 yahweh shall send forth and commanded them saying go not into the way of the gentiles mm -hmm. and into any and into any city of the samaritans until you not go ahead but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of israel yeah, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know, why were they lost? Because they were following the ways. They they weren't. They didn't have a savior at that time. You know, our people were lost. You know, they didn't have uh, the correct way of what they needed to do to have life. You know, you know Yahweh Shai. Now now instead of keeping the laws which we couldn't keep. You know, Yahweh Shai. Now the Lord just wants us to believe on Him and have faith. You know, which we rehearsed the righteous acts, of course. But now it's all about our faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I it. Okay, finish that off. Okay. Verse 7. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah, so what? It says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You get Acts 1 and 6. Mm -hmm. Before you get your precept. Mm -hmm. This is Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of of kingdom to Israel? See, a lot of these Christians will acknowledge that what yeah in the Old Testament, yeah, the Lord was only dealing with the nation of Israel, but now things have changed in the New Testament, you know? Which the Lord doesn't change. But here it is, his disciples are asking Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? You know, go ahead. Verse 7, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the time or the season which the father had put in his own power. See, he didn't rebuke them and say, no, the kingdom is for everyone now. He said, it's not for you to know the time, you know, the time is coming where I'm going to restore the kingdom to Israel. But for the time for you to know it's not in your power right now, you know? Because they still had to die and be reborn again, you know? It wasn't that time for the kingdom to be restored. 
So, you know, if Yahweh Shai, here it is. If 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 Yahweh Shai, you know, knew, don't, don't you think Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son, the most high knew, you know, what his purpose was? Get um, Matthew's, well, get your precept, then get Matthew's one. That's all I'm going to get. Okay, kind of. And then we'll close out Acts 13 and 23. This is St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Yep. For he shall save his people from their sins. Yeah, yep. So this, this is what the, the angels are telling um, Mary, you know, that you're going to bring forth a son. Actually, she's like, not Mary, but Joseph, you know, the Lord's father, you know, biological father, you know, because there wasn't no... Macalet, or what they call it, Mac Macalet. Yeah, I, Ma I can't even pronounce Mac it. Macalet deception or something like that. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, the angel did not come down and pop. You know, Mary. Now she was born. You know, you read this chapter. You know, it breaks it down clearly. You know, told him not to put them away. You know, mm -hmm. but you know, he's telling him he's going to bring that he's going to have a son. You know, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai. You know, it tells you what his name means right there. He shall save. He saves, you know, or he delivers, you know, breaks it down in that verse. Read it one more time. This is saying Matthew chapter one, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. For he shall save his people from their sins. Yeah, for he saves, he delivers. That's what Yahweh Shai means. For he shall save his people from their sins, you know. Now, sin is breaking the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. Get Luke 1 and 60. Mm-hmm. Um, 68, I believe. Yep. This is St. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be Yahweh Bashimah Shai of Israel, mm -hmm. for he has visited and redeemed his people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has redeemed us, you know, by the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead. By raising up a Savior. Go ahead. And have raised up a power of salvation for us in the house of of his servant David. It says horn. Horn. Right. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Now, go ahead. Because what? Yahweh Shai came out of the loins of David. Which we're going to get that next. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Go ahead. That we should be saved from our enemies. See, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish it off. And from the hand of all that hate us. See, in the last one, it says that we should be saved from our sins. Now, this one's saying that we're going to be saved from our enemies, you know, because we've been saved from our enemies many times before. But what would happen? We would go off, you know, we would break the commandments, you know. Then Yahweh Shai, I mean, like, then Yahweh Shema Shai would have to punish us, you know, and have a nation take us down out of rulership, you know. We will come into power. You know, and, 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 you know, we will get taken out of rulership. We get put into slavery. And then we will cry unto the Lord. He will save us. And it would just be ongoing, 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 you know, constantly. But now, you know, Yahweh Shema Shai has raised up a savior for him to save us from our enemies and then to save us from our sins. He's going to put his law, statutes, commandments in our inward parts, the new covenant, you know, which is the agreement. Get Acts 13 and 23. And then Acts we'll, 13. Yeah, in 23, and we'll close out on, on, the, on the new covenant that we're supposed to get. Acts 13. You know, because you have a lot of these Christians in the church saying that, you know, God came for everyone. Why, what do you think about these scriptures right here? You know, you can't you can't just slap these scriptures down and, go, and then go to John 3 and 16, you know? Good. This is Acts chapter 13, verse 23. Of this man's seed have Yahweh according to his purpose. Start up one. God. This is Acts chapter 13, verse 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king. To whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of, Ye of Jesse, a man after my own heart. Mm-hmm. Which shall fulfill all my will. Go ahead. Of this man's seed, have Yahweh, according to his purpose, raised unto Israel a savior. Yeah. Yahweh Shai. Exactly. There it is. Unto Israel a savior. 
You know, Yahweh Shai. So the Lord raised up Yahweh Shai out of the loins of David, out of the seed, out of the lineage of David. You know, Yahweh Shai, you know. And he was going to be our savior, you know. He lived that uh, perfect life uh, for us, you know. He was that per perfect sacrifice in you know, the land without a spot or blemish, you know. And he gave his life for the nation of Israel that we might be uh, brought back to Yahweh by Shema, back to the Heavenly Father. You want the next verse? Um, if he, whatever you think. Okay. Acts 13 and 24. When John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. Mm-hmm. That was pretty much the point. Yeah, so repentance was preached because Yahweh, what was John the Baptist, you know? He was the he was the uh, forerunner, you know. He was the man to come before Yahweh Shai to announce his coming, you know. And we are doing that spiritually today. We're announcing Yahweh Shai's second return, you know. So that we when he does return, everyone's gonna know who he is. Oh, that's the man, you know. That's Yahweh Shai. And I'm not gonna be saying that's Jesus, you know, because what the prophets of the Heavenly Father were gonna uh, is gonna be t have been telling you, you know, Yahweh Shai is coming back angry. You know, he's coming back with the band of angels. You know, he's coming back to, to F things up, you know, and to bring salvation unto his elect. Get um, Hebrews 11, I mean, 8 and 8, I believe. I brought that one down in a minute. This is Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. You can start, uh, yes, go straight to the point, start 8. Okay. Actually, um, start 10, just go straight to the point, go to 10. 10. This is Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. So this is the agreement that the Most High is going to make with the house of Israel. You know, not everyone. Go ahead. After those days, save Yahweh by Shema mm -hmm. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. So we're going to be made perfect, you know. We're going to be able to keep the laws and commandments perfectly, you know. And we ain't never going to go off again. The Most High, we're going to keep the laws of the Most High perfectly. So what? we never going to be taken out of power. We read earlier that what? The wages of sin is death, you know? I told you in the book of Maccabees, uh, we suffer because of our sins, you know? But we ain't never going to sin again. So we ain't never going to suffer, you know? We're going to be... Uh, the kingdom of heaven is going to be... Don't, don't everyone know the kingdom of heaven is going to be forever? And forever and ever, you know? But well, this is how it's going to be forever. We ain't never going to sin again. Yahweh Shai, you know, has saved us from, from, from that, you know? Go ahead. And I will be... So, uh, kind of, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, No, Yahweh Shai, for all shall know me. From the least to the greatest. Yeah, so they ain't gonna be no prophets telling Israel, you know, uh, you know, reproving them, teaching them the laws in the kingdom of heaven. You know, the time of prophesying is now. You know, all that's gonna be uh, pretty much done away with. You know, we all gonna know the Lord. You know, it's gonna be written inside of us. We all gonna know. Oh, the Lord delights in this. You know, the wickedness isn't gonna come to our minds. Go ahead. For I will be merciful to their unrighteous. And their sins and their iniquity, I remember no more. Yeah, because what when in the ancient days, you know, when you would sin, you would offer up a sacrifice, you know, for, for forgiveness of your sins, that the Lord wouldn't remember them, you know? But now that's what the Most High is doing through Lord Yahweh. He's, we offer up that perfect sacrifice once again, you know, that, Yahweh, that the Heavenly Father wouldn't remember our sins, you know? But, you know, ultimately, you know, the elect are going to be saved on the first go around. It's going to start with the elect and then eventually all Israel will be saved. You know, because that's ultimately who Lord Yahweh really came for. He came for the nation of Israel that all, you know, that all Israel is eventually going to be saved. But starting with the elect, you know, any more than that? Mm -mm. That's, the point, boy. that's the point. Come on, you know, so the Lord is going to uh, give us that uh, new covenant, you know, that new agreement, you know, to where. He's going to, hey, we, we're going to keep the laws perfectly. We're never going to go off. You know, and it was all, it was all, you know, 
through the blood of the lamb, through Yahweh coming down here and suffering for us on the cross, you know? You want to say anything before we close out? But, you know, Lord's willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, um, for we're going to be further of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great Muslim, teaching us to warn and present truth according to the Bible. Well, in peace and blessings, so I feel like the nation of Next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.